come back and run. Today I want to introduce one of the first trends I see for 2019. In a world that is bombarded by media and every major brand kind of hitting you on every single channel as often as possible, I think the trend is moving towards less. Giving you some space, giving you room to breathe, only being useful where it's relative to, be, to being useful. So I believe less is more. I think that with a combination of another trend which I will address another time which is personalization, having less is actually going to create a better experience for people. What I mean by this is, and let me kind of backtrack, when I walked into a bank over two years ago and saw where their banking product was at, what they were trying to do was actually get people onto their app as much as possible. And what they developed was almost like a social media feed of stuff that's going on. And they believed based on your spending habits and your needs and your you know, current kind of situation, they could keep popping up news and sending you notifications and things like that. But truthfully, that would have just driven people away. At the time, I thought the responsible thing to do given where they were at was to actually scrap all of that and just get basic banking done. Which I think if you're going to start anywhere on any product, make sure you've got the basics right. But where I feel that we're at now is that we've got so much coming at us. We have such bad addictive behavior with social networks already. So why make people keep going back onto these feed-like structures? So where I think there's an opportunity now is for businesses to be reading people's data. And so for example, I'm gonna use a bank as a reference. They can be looking at your behavior patterns on their app. And nine times out of 10, I would say most people come payday and the first of the month, wherever your, your accounts need to be paid, are generally jumping on the, the app. For the most part, people probably have debits and that goes off and I think it would just be useful to go, your five debits have gone off perfectly this month. Uh, if there's anything else you need to do, please click here, something like that. Some sort of a notification, either through the app or through an SMS or something like that. Simple interaction. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you next month. Simple as that. I think you're gonna have so much respect for your bank for not bombarding you with 50 million other messages trying to upsell you on their products that you'll probably go back to them anyway. The next thing then is, so okay, I make kind of consistently a few payments that I don't have as a debit order. This is where your bank can get useful and go, hey, would you like to convert this to a debit order? We could set this up for you. And if not, you know, these are your three most common debit orders that you do each time this month. Once you've done it, it's like, thanks, you're up to date, everything's in order, and this is anything else, happy to see you next month. And I just think that that sort of behavior, you know, that sort of like, hey, we know this is what you commonly do around this time of the month, this is generally kind of your financial situation, that's it. You come into a huge amount of money for whatever reason. I think, sure, this is a great opportunity for your bank to use personalization to go, hey, wait a minute, there's been this huge spike in income. Should we not offer them, you know, some sort of investment product or something like that so that their product isn't just sitting in their check account? I get that. That makes perfect sense and I think everybody would respect that. Again, once is all it needs for somebody to go, yes, or contact me later or something like that. But if you don't commonly use it, don't like think that you have to keep like trying to get people to open up your app all the time in order to do things. So 
my trend for 2019 and I think things are probably a bit slow so I think people are going to take like a long time to wrap their heads around this but definitely less is more. There's quite a few trends I'm going to cover um, over the next couple of weeks as we get into the new year. Um, I hope you'll come back again and uh, are interested in hearing what else I identify. Everything from fonts, color, um, experience, you know, trends that are, are in photography, all sorts of things. I've gone through many, many websites, seen what most people are picking up on and I look forward to sharing it with you. So thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment and stay cool.